So in Salesforce's free developer accounts, specifically the Tableau CRM enabled ones, you may find under your storage usage, and I've come to this through the company information screen and then looking at the current storage usage out of the box, has 10,000 record count for what is known as acquired accounts. This is a custom object that I'm not sure of what the use case is for. And I'm getting more and more questions around, well, how can we clean this up? And so I wanna show you a little bit more about what acquired accounts look like and the thought process behind why you might want to delete these, most of which is that it's using a large percentage of your storage here. One of the reasons to go with the Tableau Serum enabled developer account is that it gives you 45 megs of data storage instead of five megs on the regular free developer account. But you notice that almost 20 of those mags are taken up by these acquired accounts. So a couple of things of note is that you can't find acquired accounts from the app launcher under all items. Uh, you can create a custom tab in order to give yourself visibility at your profile. But I want to show you in the object manager the characteristics of this particular custom object acquired account. You notice the double underscore C here on the API name. So going into acquired account and looking at fields and relationships. What we're looking for are any lookups or master details, and I don't know if this is an object that is used by Trailhead or what its intention is, or if it's just simply an example of a custom object in this free developer account. So I don't really see anything other than a lookup to user for owner and created by the typical lookup fields on a custom object. So one thing you can do in order to look at these records, you could create a custom tab, as I mentioned previously, and look at them through a list view. But what I'm gonna do is create a custom report type on acquired accounts and then create a report so that I can look at all the data for all these acquired accounts in all fields as well. So if you search for report type, you can create a custom report type. So I'm going to click on report types and then click continue and new custom report type. The primary object will be acquired accounts. And I'm going to give this a report type label of acquired accounts and tab out of there to populate the report type name. And then I'll store this in the category of accounts and contacts and put this in deployed status. And so I'm not really concerned with any other related objects, but for my own curiosity, I'm going to click and see what potential related objects it may pull up here. And so there is a related object for duplicate record items. I'll go ahead and select that. And there's no further relatable objects. I didn't notice duplicate record items in the fields and relationships, but we'll just see if this pulls up anything or not. And I want to choose the latter of the two options here because I want all acquired accounts, even those that do not have a duplicate record item. So I'm going to leave it at that and click save and take the defaults here as far as the fields that are available, which are all on both objects here. Now, out of my own curiosity, I'm going to go back to object manager into acquired accounts and fields and relationships and look for duplicate record items and there are none. So this may, this acquired account may play into duplicate rule somehow, I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to interject here. I finished recording this video and then thought about why duplicate record item was showing up. And so I thought I would inspect this particular object. This is duplicate record item, and this is a child to duplicate record sets, which I've done a video previously on as far as you can use those to report on and see potential duplicate alerts that have happened in your org. Every time there's an alert for those, it creates a duplicate record set. And then the line items for that duplicate record set are the duplicate record items. So looking at this particular object in Object Manager, duplicate record item, there is a field called record ID and it's a lookup to several different objects, including acquired account. So that's where the relationship between acquired account and duplicate record item happens is on the duplicate record item level. So I wanted to at least specify that and then we'll get back into the video now and continue on in working towards getting these records deleted. So now if I go into my reports tab, I'll go ahead and refresh because I've created that a new customer report type, but this is a tab that I had open before that, so I want to be sure I'm able to pull that in. So I'm going to click New Report. And under Contacts and Accounts, I think is where I put this. Here's my Acquired Accounts Custom Report Type. And so then I select that and click Continue. If you can't find your Acquired Accounts Custom Report Type, you can always search here. Once selected, click Continue. And now there's um, a little bit of detail here. And you can add additional fields. And to see the fields that you're adding added into the preview here, you can toggle this on to update the preview automatically. I'll add other fields here. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and include some fields as well for the duplicate record items. These are items from potential duplicate alerts that are reportable in uh, duplicate record sets. I'm not sure I'll have any or not, but I'm just pulling in as much data as I can to try to figure out what the intention behind this acquired account custom object is even about and if it's safe to delete. And then I'll show you how you can theoretically delete these a few different ways actually. So I pulled in all the data around duplicate record items and so I'm going to go ahead and just continue to select these other fields as well. And you can always reorder these by dragging and dropping. I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot as far as the presentation value. But you can always just grab the ID of the acquired account IDs and do a mass delete using data loader if you're wanting to mass delete that way. You can also mass delete from command line in the developer console, uh, execute anonymous. I'll show you some more details on that as well. So I've got all the fields for both objects here. So I'm going to click save and run and I'll just call this acquired accounts report and I'll just keep this in a private reports folder but if you want to make this available to others be sure you put it in a public folder. Click save and this is saying that I have 1262 records. Let me check my filters and let me change this from a close date in the current fiscal quarter to all time and apply that and then that may go to the 10,000 I'm looking for. All right, so this report has more results than we can show up to 2,000 rows. Summary information is calculated from full reports. So what you can do with this is you can do an export and export this as a, an Excel file. And then this will be a formatted report in Excel. And then I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. This will give you probably a more readily usable format for this data to be able to determine if you want to delete these or not, or if these are related to something important in your org. And it takes a while for that to generate. And then based on your findings in that report, you can determine if you want to delete those 10,000 records or not. All right, so it does indeed take a while, but then eventually the XLSX file appears and you can open that in Excel. Just one note, this is the number of records in this report. The total account ID, that is just this field here. This is some field around the uh, acquired account. It's not the actual acquired account Salesforce ID. This would be that field in question or this column here. You could use the data from this column to do a mass delete using the data loader. But this is adding up the totals of all of those. So that's a large number, but you can ignore that. Let's look at this spreadsheet now. So this is a formatted report. You can always clean this up by getting rid of extraneous rows to get the uppermost row uh, being your column headers, and you can get rid of any columns that you don't need. So the acquired account name is the same as the acquired account ID. So that I find that a little bit interesting. So you can use either to do a delete on. And so I'm just going to peruse this data here, take a look at the fields that we have available and see if anything stands out. And from what I can tell, all I know about this is this looks to be some sort of sample data export in this free developer account of a custom object to house account type information. What you would use that for, I'm not really sure. Closed data is something that's interesting to me as well because that's typically something you see on opportunities. So I don't know if this is potentially used by Team Trailhead on different modules or projects. If you've ever run across acquired accounts on Trailhead, let me know. I've done some searching and haven't found anything. It may be obvious to you. If, if so, then please let me know. But this seems to be information around certain types of accounts that are kind of anonymized or whatever. So uh, if you determine that you want to get rid of this in your org to free up the space, then what you can do is you can, as I mentioned, all you really need from this would be this particular column. So I'm going to just click on the topmost uh, section here of this column and do a copy. And then I'll do a new spreadsheet. Or you could just delete all these other columns. And then just paste that into this uh, new spreadsheet. And then you do a file, save as, and save this as a CSV file, comma separated value, save it somewhere locally on your machine. And then you could do a mass delete using the data loader, using these IDs, and that would clean up your org and free up that space. Another thing you can do that you may want to explore is use the developer console. And if you click on the gear icon, you can select developer console and that opens up a new window with your developer console. And so a few things you can do here, you can pull in the IDs of all your acquired accounts by going into the query editor. And I'll give you the, the code for these queries as well. 
First of all, uh, this query is a select statement. This is a SQL query, uh, Salesforce object query language, and it's select ID from acquired account underscore underscore C. Hit enter, or hit execute, I should say. Let me clarify. Click execute, and then it takes a moment, pulls in the 10,000 rows that way. And this is probably a quicker, easier way than even creating a report if you're comfortable with a little bit of code here. And then you can hit control E or command E to open up and execute anonymous window that is also available from the debug drop down and selecting open execute anonymous window. And here's where you can enter in some Apex code. And this is a snippet of code that you can use in order to uh, create a list of all of your acquired accounts and then select those IDs from that list and perform a delete on all 10,000, okay? And this will take a minute for that to run. And as I mentioned, I'll provide this in the description down below the video as well. So I'll go ahead and hit execute. And so this does take a while. You can uh, go back to your query editor and execute this again. And you may see that there's still some records that come back. But let me go ahead and refresh the developer console and go back into the query editor and then repopulate my query. I can refresh this. And now we're down to the zero acquired accounts in our report as well.